Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and updates. In today's video, I'm going to be recapping last night's Tough L versus the Pelicans, talking about the whole Fire Billy Donovan situation, also giving some injury updates on Kobe White and Justin Lewis, and also talking about if the Chicago Bulls need to make some starting lineup changes. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot and leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the news and updates i'm about to jump into and obviously just the bulls poor last few games and especially last night's l versus the pelicans but nonetheless let's just jump right into it i mean last night it was just a very ugly game from start to finish the bulls once again got off to a rough start and let me just first off say i don't have much to say to recap this game i'm just very disappointed and honestly it was just ugly and a pain to watch this game last night and speaking of the pelicans this was a back-to-back -back game for them and they i felt like ran us all over and the pelicans were also without zion williamson and i felt like they still destroyed the bulls in every category i mean the pelicans obviously shot the three ball really well and the defense demar Derozan was playing at times was really rough i mean demar Derozan did put up 28 points but he damn near gave up at least 30 to 40 points on wide open three pointers and i don't want to put the blame just on DeMar but it's on everyone it's on the whole Bulls roster and Billy Donvin and this is just disappointing I mean the Pelicans they're playing good basketball but without Zion Williamson on a back-to-back -back, and especially after the Bulls last game versus the Denver Nuggets back-to-back -back blowouts and especially the other day after the Nuggets blowout game the Bulls were saying all these things how they're gonna work on it get better they've been having good practices and then once again they come out flat and the offense is awful the Bulls have now lost three in a row and the Bulls have lost five out of their last six. They're one and five in their last six games. This is a second straight blowout loss for the Chicago Bulls. And like I did say, I really don't know what to say. Leave some comments below today's video about last night's game. I mean, this is an effort problem, slow start problem, offensive problem. And I hate to say this, you know, even though the Bulls defense has been really bad and really ugly at times, the Bulls as of right now have a top 10 defense in the NBA. It's mainly the Bulls offensive problem. I don't know if it's because they're changing their offense trying to like limit DeMar DeRozan's iso ball or whatever I mean obviously the roster construction that's also a big problem and I blame the Bulls front office a lot same with Billy Donvin the lack of shooting and rim protection remains brutal for this Bulls team I would love to hear what this front office is thinking right now especially after not doing much in this past offseason I mean Drogic and Drummond have been great additions but the Bulls needed to do more and I honestly hope the Bulls front office have something up their sleeve because it's early in the NBA season a lot can change hopefully the Bulls can fix this there's a lot of time but as of right now it's really ugly and I feel like Friday's game versus the Orlando Magic is a must-win game and that's sad to say because it's only November into the NBA season leave some comments and questions below today's video about last night's poor effort and just poor game versus the Pelicans and now on to the second topic in today's video is the whole Billy Donovan situation. I've been seeing all over Twitter that many Bulls fans want the Bulls to fire Billy Donovan. Leave your thoughts below today's video if you guys want the Bulls to keep Billy Donovan or fire him. Because in my eyes and our Taurus fan club on Twitter, the Bulls definitely don't lack talent. I feel like when they're fully dialed in and they're just being active and making wide open shots and just playing smart basketball, you know, they're winning most games. They have the talent to win games and be a really good NBA a team the eye test and the stats support this but it's putting the pieces together the correct rotations putting players in positions to succeed it's a common tread at this point player development is great and all but there's much more to this puzzle and i hate to start complaining and bashing and talking about fire billy donovan but many bulls fans are talking about that and it kind of all starts with billy donovan in my eyes i mean obviously the roster construction is a big problem but billy donovan has had this problem for his past few years with the Bulls just the Bulls starting slow or having no effort and that's unexcusable I mean, especially the start this season, there's been a lot of Fire Billy Donovan talk. Even yesterday during the Pelicans game, Fire Billy Donovan was trending on Twitter. And as of right now, I say the Bulls should still keep Billy Donovan. I mean, I know the Bulls players like Billy Donovan, the Bulls front office and Billy Donovan are close, but things can change fast in the NBA. And I hate to just continue to bash on Billy Donovan because it's the players as well, but where's the sense of urgency? What happened to the effort just from a few games ago before the little break that the 
Bulls did have. They look unprepared in a lot of aspects, getting off the rough starts, slow starts. You think the time off would help with all the back to backs to start this season? I don't know. As as of right now, I'm not for firing Billy Donovan, but if he doesn't correct this ship in the next few weeks, I'm all for it. The Bulls are going to need to do something. And the next topic in today's video is some injury updates on Kobe White and Justin Lewis. And Kobe White's name has been in some recent trade rumors. Obviously, I feel like every year his name is involved in those. I'll probably make a future video really talking about that. But there has been some positive news about injured Bulls guard Kobe White in the past few days. He's been running with some bands on and he's been continuing to work on his shot and put up some shots. There's still no timetable for when Kobe White will be back in game form. He still is dealing with that left bruised thigh and Billy Donovan did give an update on Kobe White the other day he said I think the biggest issue is the swelling as aspect right now of his leg he's been able to do some light running he doesn't quite have full range of motion in that leg the medical guys feel good about the process he's making he did add that this injury sets him back a lot because of his conditioning it will be impacted and it'll take him some time to work on that and after that Justin Lewis did share an Instagram story on his Instagram and he was just riding the bike you know it's good to see that he's in Chicago at the Advocate Center around the Bulls front office and Bulls players just working out I'm rooting for him I'm really high on Justin Lewis still but no matter what leave some comments and questions below today's video about those quick little injury updates and the final quick little topic I wanted to talk about in today's video is about a possible Bulls change to their starting lineup. You know, I don't want to deep dive into this because I plan to make a future video talking about this, but there was a few Bulls insiders during last night's game versus the Pelicans. It was Jason Pratt and Joe Cowley. They were talking about how the Bulls might need to make a starting lineup change. And Jason Pratt did say, I would not be surprised if Juan Dragic does start Friday and maybe Javante Green. And Joe Cowley pretty much said the same thing. Now, as of right now, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, it's not a great start to the season, but I don't believe the Chicago Bulls are in full panic mode as right as of right now. I mean, obviously, Drogic's the best point guard on this roster, especially just running the whole pick and roll situation. But it's going to be sad that the Bulls might have to turn to a 36-year-old point guard to help fix this boat. And same with Javante Green. I mean, I love Javante Green, and he obviously brings defense and effort and just activity, but that's not great starting him over Patrick Williams as well as of right now I'm just rocking with the starting lineup but there definitely is a problem going on with the Bulls I don't know what it is you know the Bulls are off to a rough start but hopefully they can correct this ship quickly thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos I really do appreciate it have a good one